Welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Real Estate. This is Tristan. Hi, hope you're doing well. Listen, I've been running this for almost a year. Pretty crazy that we're going day to day and I shoot these almost daily, which is even more nutty. I have to fit it in, right? And it's just for you. This episode is brought to you by Y Realty. If you haven't checked us out, please check us out. That's our new brokerage. We're only in California, expanding to other parts of the nation slowly, but we just launched. So excited about that. Now, let's talk a little bit about challenging yourself when it comes to reaching out to people. You all have a list of people that you routinely reach out to and those that you know that you should be reaching out to, but you haven't. You're just like, I'm going to, but I'm, I want to, but... And sometimes there are people you don't even know, like expireds or for sale by owners. But most of the time you're like me, which is you're reaching out or you're trying to reach out to people, you know, getting the motivation, getting getting it going. Hopefully reaching out to people that you know you should have been reaching out to a while ago because you should, right? Maybe, maybe even past clients, which I know I have a few that I haven't reached out to, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And I was reminded of this because I'm restarting a podcast just under a different name. I ran, it was uh, Brilliant Thoughts. I ran that podcast for Success Magazine for about uh, a little over a year and a half. I think it was almost two years. And we had, it was massive. We had over 2 million downloads. It's 100,000 downloads per episode. We did really well and I built amazing relationships. And so when I stopped it, I was like, I'm going to get back into it, but it's going to be a little bit different. I'm calling it brilliant and it's going to be uh, books you should be reading, but you're not. Now that challenges me because besides having to read the books, I have to reach out to these people. And sometimes it's a little uncomfortable reaching out to them because I hate getting rejected, even though I'm a telemarketer, right? I did that for years. I still don't like getting rejected. I don't like people saying, no, sorry, because it makes me feel like I might not be good enough, right? I'm not not lab coat agents or whatever isn't good enough. We're not big enough for you, I see, right? I I still have that internal thought sometimes. And so I want to let you know that I still have that. And you may have that sometimes, and that's okay. I think it's part of the process. And sometimes I thought, I I think I'm like, man, I can't believe that I still haven't gotten rid of that for so many years. I started telemarketing at 14. I telemarketed every summer through high school, college, and and then even after. And then I went door knocking when I was real estate. I cold called and I'd still have this feeling. And it never goes away. Just, Just so you know, there's always that little, little and sometimes a lot, right? Doubt. So I want you to challenge yourself today and make a little list of the people you know you need to reach out to, but you haven't. You haven't because maybe you're a little scared of what they're going to say. Maybe it's been a long time. The past client that has been like 15 years, maybe three years, and you're like, man, I should have reached out seven months ago, right? I want you to reach out. But before you reach out, I want you to think of how you're going to reach out because the challenge is most of the time we don't know with what to reach out with. Like, what do we need to say? As I'm reaching out to these mega authors or uh, Stanford or Harvard professors that we're going to have on the new show, um, I have to really think about the messaging and I'm thinking, well, what do they need? They need exposure. Right. And they need to know that they can trust the person they're going to be interviewing with. And when I reach out to my past clients, I'm like, what do they need? Well, they're living in a house. They need something, usually a service provider. Something's going to break. I go with the MRI, right? Maintenance, repair, and improvements. I'm like, hey, Joe, it's Tristan. Uh, Listen, it's been a long time. Oh my gosh. But I just, I just came across an electrician because I had him fix something in the garage. And And I thought of of you because you're not too far from me. And I thought, do you need an electrician? I'm actually going through a list of past clients. That's an option, right? And there are so many other ones that we've been through. The point is you have a list of people you need to reach out to and you haven't. Get a list of five right now. 
Who are these five people you haven't reached out to? You're going to reach out to them today. And then you're going to let me know how it goes. I hope you let me know how it goes. Message me on Instagram. And if they don't pick up, don't be like, hey, I tried. I tried, Tristan, you know. No, you're going to text them. And if they don't return a text, you're going to email them. And if they're your friends or you're connected with them on social, you're going to message them. You're going to vary the way you reach to them. You're going to vary the way you reach out to them. I knew I missed a whole word there. That's all I got for you today. Let's talk tomorrow.